Hello, my name is Ricardo Costa. I'm a field crop educator with MS Extension. Today we're going to be talking about what tools I can use to help me to decide how much nitrogen I can apply in season. The idea to apply uh, nitrogen in season is to avoid applying all the nitrogen at once. And of course, because we know that most of the nitrogen is going to be lost if I do that. So we talked before about taking P SCNT samples. We talked about using a fed meter. Today we want to talk about uh, the handheld crop sensor. The idea to use this one is quite similar with speed meter. In this case here, what we have to do, we need to find an area in that field that we apply the right amount of nitrogen. So the crop, the corn looks pretty good. I'm going to go and walk in that field and I'm going to take some um, measurements. So how does it work? I'm going to walk down the row, holding the crop sensor one to two feet above the canopy. As I'm holding the lever, it will collect readings and give me an average. One thing that you have to remember, the crop sensor does not uh, keep the data here, like all the information. So if you go in different areas, you gotta, you got to have to take notes of the average and average for, for yourself. I did that in the area where I applied enough nitrogen. I know that my crop has enough and I got a number. After that, I'm going to go and keep that number and memorize the number or put in your, in your notebook. I'm going to go to the rest of the field where I know that I didn't apply enough nitrogen and, and I want to go and side dress. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to walk above the crop, scan in different areas so we can get an average number. So as you can see here, we got our average number that is 0.72. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show with the equation how those numbers that I got from the high uh, reference plot with the area where you want to apply a nitrogen, how those numbers going to help you uh, to, do, to decide on how many pounds of nitrogen you're going to apply in that area. So pay, pay attention in the equation right now. All right, for the equation, we're going to have to find the colored line that maps your average reading for the high reference area using the table in the top right corner. So for this example here, we, are, we found that in our field we got 0.8. So that's going to be our reference number. Try to remember that. The next step, you're going to use the bottom x axis to find the number that's close to your field average. So let's say I run that in my field and my average number was 0.6. The third step is going to be to find where the colored line meets the bottom number and trace back to the y axis on the left side of the graph. In that case here, whenever I trace those back, we get 0.3. That's the number we get. Next, we're going to use the maximum yield chart and select your crop and expect yield in bushels per acre. Find where the row and the column meets and multiply the number by the number you found from the left side of the graph. So in our case here, we are working with winter wheat and I wanted to grow 175 bushels of winter wheat. So the number that I have is 439. The only thing I need to do, that's pretty simple, I need to multiply 439 times 0.3 from the other graph that's going to give me about 132. That's the amount of nitrogen I need to apply. So uh, I'm going to have to apply 132 pounds of nitrogen per acre to be able to grow 175 bushels of winter wheat. Guys, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much, and we're going to be back soon. Bye-bye.